God is good all the time, even when we don't understand. Today's a short one, man. All right, today is Exodus 11, Saturday, May 16th, 2020, 5-16-20. Yesterday we read uh, Exodus 10. The Lord sends a plague of locusts that devours everything left after the hell. Nothing green remained. The Pharaoh refuses to let God's people go. God makes Egypt dark with no light for three days. The Pharaoh still refuses to let them go. So that's where we're at. My highlighters. Pink is God's words, yellow my likes, blue angel's words, and orange questions. Today is super short, but tomorrow, tomorrow has some deep stuff that you got to pay attention to. Alright, uh, Exodus 11, the plague of the firstborn. Now the, now the Lord had said to Moses, Lord's word, I will bring one more plague on Pharaoh and on Egypt. After that, he will let you go from here. And when he does, he will drive you out completely. Tell the people that men and women alike are to ask their neighbors for articles of silver and gold. The Lord made the Egyptians favorably disposed toward the people. And Moses himself was highly regarded in Egypt by Pharaoh's officials and by the people. So Moses said, This is what the Lord says, About midnight I will go throughout Egypt. Every firstborn son in Egypt will die. From the firstborn son of Pharaoh who sits on the throne to the firstborn son of the female slave who is at her handmill, and all the firstborn of the cattle as well. There will, be no, there will be loud wailing throughout Egypt, worse than there has ever been or ever will be again. But among the Israelites not a dog will bark at any person or animal. Then you will know that the Lord makes a distinction between Egypt and Israel. All these, offic all these officials of yours will come to me, bowing down before me and saying, Go, you and all the people who follow you. After that I will leave. Then Moses, hot with anger, left Pharaoh. The Lord had said to Moses, the Lord's words, Pharaoh will refuse to listen to you, so that my wonders may be multiplied in Egypt. Alright, I like that part right there. Pharaoh... Pharaoh will refuse to listen to you. I, like, I, like, I highlighted this part under my likes. So that my wonders may be multiplied in Egypt. So now we understand why he's hardening the Pharaoh's heart. He wants his wonders to be multiplied. So he, he didn't want to make it easy and just make Pharaoh. Um, he didn't want to just make Pharaoh let them release them. He could have did that. But he hardened his heart so he could show his wonders to other people so that every so that more people will will see his wonders all right moses all right pharaoh will refuse to listen to you the lord had said to moses pharaoh will refuse to listen to you so that my wonders may be multiplied in egypt moses and aaron performed all these wonders before pharaoh but the lord hardened pharaoh's heart and he would not let the israelites go out of his country Alright, that's it for today. Quick one, but tomorrow's a long one and detailed and important. So, check out tomorrow, man. God bless everyone. God is good all the time, even when we don't understand. Amen.